How much do you know about session locks? Probably not as much as you think you do. You might not even really know what a session lock is. What is he talking about? You must be thinking, well, we're going to look into that. I'm going to explain what a session lock is. You will understand it when I get into it. It's effectively locking your screen. You know, if it was Windows, it'd be the Windows key and L. And on Linux, you have different implementations depending on your desktop environment or whether you're using a window manager. Obviously, I'm using a window manager, so we're going to look at the window manager version. But also, we are going to discover that there is not just one single window lock session or one window lock manager, if you like, on your system. There is a built-in one on the kernel, on the TTY. And what you assume is locked when you lock your window manager or your desktop environment is not actually locking your Linux system. And we will look into this. Now you might think as well, ah, oh, I know what he's talking about. I know exactly where he's going with this. I'm a system administrator and whatever. Well, good for you, but it's interesting. If you're a desktop user and you assume that this doesn't affect you, well, we will have a scenario where it is really affecting you. And you might just learn something along the way. You might just get a little bit of extra knowledge about Linux that may inform how you approach things. Anyway, this is the correct way to lock your computer. So we're going to look into it. So let's look at the screen. Let's get the Arch Linux um, summary, of course, of what is a session lock. Because let's all understand where we're coming from here. So here we go. There are numerous utilities to lock the screen of a session. But it's important to note that utility to use is highly dependent on the environment you are in, either the virtual console or the specific display server. Hmm. Now it's interesting that it's giving you a hint here on different behaviours, but one behaviour is more important than the other. We will look into this. So here you go, you've got the virtual console. This is what I was hinting at. So VLock is your Linux kernel lock, let's say, or your uh, lock of the virtual terminal in the TTY, however you want to look at it. And then you've got Xorg, of course, and Wayland. Um, and then there's all different ways to install a session lock for Xorg or Wayland. Now I'm going to show you iFreeLock, so if you want to, but you don't have uh, say a session lock for iFree, we're going to install iFreeLock, it just works, it's fine. Or does it just work? We'll find out. Um, and obviously again if you've got a desktop environment it will have some kind of system lock probably so look into that. So well I guess just let's just get into it. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go into the virtual machine. So here we are and we've got the virtual machine here. So I can do set font um, to 132B uh, oh, one, three, two, B. There we go. And I will make this full screen. Be aware, I will be um, taking this out of full screen for very good reasons, um, and I will show you why, of course. So here we go. So if I do, let's let's just show you what uh, locking the terminal looks like. Okay. So if I do V lock, okay. Um, TTY one is now locked by me. Okay, so if I put in my password, it is unlocked. Fantastic. Now, if I do, so just be a remember we're on the TTY, we're not in the graphical environment. So this is all built in, so this will be in your Linux kernel, you don't need to install any packages on this. So if I do vlock uh, again, okay, and let's just say, um, so you'll have this on your computer, you can try this now, you can try this now. So I'm using a uh, virtual machine, so I have to send the key via the virtual machine. But it's the same principle, so hit Control alt uh, F2, 3 and 4, if you've locked your thing. So if I do um, Control alt um, uh, Control alt F2, let's say, so I've sent the key, and I log in. Uh, I log in 
On the TTY2, so you've got like eight different uh, virtual terminal ways. You've got a lot here. So you've got many virtual terminals. Now, by default, they are locked. So you have to put in a user password or a root password, okay? So this is now on unlocked. Mm -hmm. So if I go and put um, F1, as you can see, that TTY1 is the only one that's locked, okay? But if I go back to uh, F2, that is unlocked. So I can make a, let's make a touch uh, test, test.text, okay? And we're gonna go into test.text and go, this file is uh, not modified, okay? And if I save that, I don't know what I've done there. What have I done? Oh yeah. So if I uh, echo, um, echo. Got to learn to Linux, James. Got to learn to Linux. So sorry, this is very small. Let's do one three two B. Set font. Uh, to one three two B. So there we go. Okay. So if I cut out test dot text. This file is not modified, okay? Perfect. So, let's let's go back to F1, okay? And so we're back in that, right? So there you go. A basic demonstration of the Linux console, okay? So that's locked. Now, there is a way to lock all the Linux consoles, and this is important coming up to the graphical in ses session. So I am getting there. So we are going to um, do, uh, well, sorry. I'm sorry. I want to, uh, first of all, I want to go back into F2, and I want to exit that. Okay, exit that. So TTY2 is now logged out. Okay, fantastic. Oh, it's so annoying with this mouse. So annoying, but I'm... I'm suffering it for you guys. I'm suffering for you. Bear with, bear with. It is worth it. Okay, so we are going to start to X, okay? So we are in the graphical uh, session, okay? So if I do TTY, there you go. We're in PTS, whatever. Right, now, so what we're going to do now, first of all, if you want to install iFreeLock, so for your X11, okay? So you can do, well, update your packages, right? Do that, and then do sudo pacman-s, and uh, it's called ifreelock, okay? So if you're running ifree, um, that's it really. I've got it uh, reinstalled and I've got it installed. Okay, okay, so if I run ifreelock, my screen is now locked, okay? so. Verifying wrong, okay? Now, if I go and try and get into F2, as you can see, I am having to log in, okay? So, great. Everything is locked by default. So I can do my YouTube, uh, James, and I can put my password, Okay, and so I've unlocked that. So um, here's an important point. The X session is locked, okay? But you can still unlock the virtual terminal. So if I do chvt, bit of terminal magic there, I'm back in, uh, effectively I'm back in TTY1, but back in the graphical environment. It's, it's gone back into my screen lock. So let's unlock, okay? Perfect. Now, we are in here, okay? Now, I want you to think about this, right? So, um, if I go back into, uh, duh, 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 back into here, this, this is unlocked, okay? I've unlocked it, I've unlocked it previously, right? So, I'm gonna go back into, 
back into CH feature. So we're back in the graph environment. Just want to show you, I'm going to set this, uh, this setup, okay? I'm going to run i3 lock. Right, we are locked, okay? But remember the virtual terminal too. I find this stupid button, okay? I'm going to send the key. You can do this at home as well. Look at that. Look at that. I can do whatever I want. I'm already logged in. And if you lock your screen and walk away and this is unlocked or virtual terminal three, four, five, I free lock is not going to lock your Linux console. Now remember that. So I can go into vim test.txt. Remember, I didn't have to log in. I had already logged in. Um, imagine you've already logged into the virtual terminal and whatever. Okay, so here you go. You've been hacked. All right. And if I do if I do chvt1, okay. So you stepped away from your computer. I've tried the alt control F1, 2, 3 keys. You think you're perfectly secure. Maybe you're at school, maybe you're working in the government, whatever, and you've got no idea. And you're going, right, okay, I've got my coffee. I'm going to sit back down. Okay, let's uh, put my super secure password. Probably put it in wrong. Okay, let's try again. Okay, and I'm like, okay, let's do some work. Let's go into my test.txt. Oh my God, I've been hacked. What the hell? How is that possible? I had my screen locked and everything. How did they do that? The point is that you are not locking your Linux desktop, okay? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, well, this is only going to be a system administrator. No, no, it is not the case. It is not the case. A lot of people drop to a TTY, okay? So you, you might be one of those people. Okay, maybe you're one of the few, but you might be one, one of those people who do control uh, alt F2 and you unlock the Linux console, right? And you unlock it because you want to do your pseudo Pac-Man updates, right? And people do this for a good reason. They worry the graphical environment will crash while they're doing in, uh, updates or installs or whatever. Perfectly valid. Perfectly valid. You don't want... Look, there's, look at DistroTube, okay? He did a whole video. Whole video on doing... Um, well, he didn't do a whole video. He did a video on... Some people drop to the TTY to do their updates. He does it, okay? He does it on his computer. He says himself. So he does pseudo Pac-Man SYU and a TTY because he had problems where the X, uh, X11 crashed. This was only a year or two ago. Now, if DistroTube locks his terminal on the graphical environment and he steps away to grab his coffee, as he does, goes to McDonald's and grabs his coffee or whatever, and I happen to be there, I can control alt F2 if he's not rebooted his computer or not left or locked um, or not exited that login session, I can do whatever I want to his computer. So how do you get around this? How can you lock your entire Linux console? Okay, so let's remember where we are, right? So let's go back into uh, da, da, da. Well, there's two ways to do this. So let's um, let's save this, okay? Right, let's save this. So remember, TTY, we're in the um, TTY1 loading X11, okay? Right, so if I, remember, if I do i3 lock, yeah? I can still get into TTY2 because it's unlocked. I've done an update, I haven't exited the session, I've gone back into my um, thing and I'm doing i3 lock, okay? I think I'm secure. And I come along and uh, da, da, da. I come along and I use my stupid virtual machine. Oh, so annoying. And I go into here and, oh, bam. So how, how can I lock the entire Linux console, including X11, and this should include Wayland and everything else? You do what we did earlier, VLOCK, okay? And do dash A. Now read what it says. The entire console display is now completely locked by me, right? Put in your password. But you're probably thinking, ah, oh, really? But if I go into, oh, look, 
If I go into F1, I can't even get back into X11. If I go in F3, I can't get into F3, I can't get into F4, I can't get into F5. Everything is locked, okay? So, this is the way to lock your computer. So if I do chvt, so I'm changing back to whatever. Look, i3 lock is still active, but i3 lock did not lock your Linux computer. Remember this, this is actually important. Oh my God, I've made a serious video. Can you believe it? No, my videos are serious. This is a serious point. You are not locking your desktop. You're not locking your computer by using i3 lock. Remember, show it again. Okay, we are back in there. The only way is VLock-A. That is the proper way to lock your Linux computer, server, desktop, I don't care. This is unarguable. You can put it in the comments. That's the way to do it, whatever. Right, so there we go. Very, very useful video. Stay safe out there, especially if you're government. You don't want to be hacked by the world um, enemy states or anything you, you know you don't want to come by your military grade computer and oh no you use i3 lock instead of vlock a so now you're safe now your computer files are not going to get hacked you're not going to have them stolen by shady government um, agencies you're now perfectly safe so there we go but of course remember this is only on a virtual machine if i was doing it on my actual computer it would lock everything so now i i don't even actually need to do anything that's, I'm still going to exit my my uh, computer so remember this is a virtual machine guys if you're doing it in a virtual machine it's not going to lock your computer I know that's obvious but I just want to put a caveat just in case some smart person in the comments says something whatever anyway do your fake YouTube like comment subscribe I know you do oh look I've made 500 subscribers 500 look mum I'm famous wow amazing okay that's it. That video is done. You're now safe. Well done.